All right, so I want to go through some numbers in terms of income and, and the process of like putting money aside. So I just want to run through some numbers here. So let's say that you're you put aside uh, 500 bucks per month. That turns into six grand per year. Um, so let's say that we do that over the course of 20 years. That turns into what? Two times six is 12. It turns into 120 grand right six six thousand times 20 yeah so it comes up to 120 grand over the course of 20 years so let's say that you're able to start doing that at 25 years old that means by the time that you're 45 you have this let's say that you do that for another uh 20 years until the point that you're 65 um that would come out to 240 grand at 65 years old so if we then look at what 240 grand okay so i i want to break it down like two different ways let's say that you have 240 grand that's invested into something that gives you uh let's say it gives you six percent per year so we go uh we're just clear on this thing 240k times 0.06 it throw off 14 uh 14 four per year which is nothing <laughs> by the time you're 65. Um, let's say that you took the 240 and you didn't, and you just had it, you didn't have it invested anything. You simply had the lump sum of 240. And let's say that you wanted that to, you wanted that to take until you're 80, right? Till 80, which is 15 years. So then we got to go 240, uh, clear. We got to go 240 divided by 15. That gives you, oops, that gives you 16K per year if you were to do it that way. So I, I don't think anyone wants to do that when they're 65 if they work for 40 years. So then we have to go back up here and we have to look at, all right, so we need to put aside more than $500 per month, or at least for the course of time, we need to be able to, to put away more like you might start with 500 bucks and then be able to go you know a thousand fifteen hundred two thousand whatever it is but this is to to get you thinking or get me thinking about like okay how much do we actually need to do that right so let's say that we take this and we make it 1500 bucks a month per month do that for 20 years uh that leads to oops that's not 15k 1500 times uh, 20, no, 1500 per month would be times 12, that would give us 18k a year, did I do that on this one, yeah, okay, 18k a year, take that over the course of 20 years, so 18k times 20, now you have 360, by the time you're 45, if we double that, we got 720 by the time you're 65. Oops, no, that was in the shot. Um, okay, so now let, like, let's do the same thing with that. So you take 720 at 6% if you have it invested in something that throws off 6%. So we go 720 uh, times 0 0.06 takes you to... We got takes to uh, 43.2k per year. Um, I mean, taxes also play into that, so it depends on what you're what you're in. But let's let's then take that and we go. Let's say you want to live for the same, or you want it to last for the same 15 years. I don't know what happens if you live longer than 15 years. <laughs> let's say you go that divided by 15, and then you get 48. <laughs> 48k per year that might not hold up like it depends on how you take it out because generally let's say that you have something you have that in something that's uh like that's going to be considered income so it's going to be taxed so it's very unlikely that let's say you have that put aside or, or you have that put into whatever you have it put into when you go to take it out it's probably going to be taxed as income i mean again depends on where you have it um but still even if you 
even if you put away 15, 1500 bucks a month, which I feel like a lot of people probably don't consider, that still only leads to this. And like, let's say that you live for 25 years instead of 15, right? So let's say instead of going to 80, you live to, what would that be, 90? Yeah, we live in old, huh? So 720 divided by, what do we say, 25 instead of 15? Takes us to 28.8. 28, 28.8. 28, which we're starting to get back to like this territory or that territory. Um, okay, so let's take one more number. Let's say, let's say you're able to put aside, let's, let's make it fun. Let's say you're able to put aside 10K. That's so small. <laughs> 10K per month, that leads to 120K per year. Um, let's say that we do that over the course of 20 years. Would that be 200? 20 times 20. 2.4. By the time you're 45, let's say that you do that for another 20 years, right? Then that leads to 4.8. By the time you're 65. Again, this is over the, like, let's say you average that basically over the course of 40 years. And yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't want to go any further into that. So let's say that you average that over the, over the course of that. So then you have this, if that throws off 6% times 0 0.06, puts that 288. 288. Per year keep in mind that's that's if it throws off six percent but you're not actually pulling from that so that's just six percent of that so if you if, if you get to that number and six percent of that then that's what it throws off per year right if you let's say you just have that you don't have invested but you just have that as a lump sum then we go divided by the let's go with the 15 years again we got 320 what we got here we got 320 per year for 15 years. And let's say we do it for 25 years. That goes to, uh, nope, four, eight, divided by 25, takes it to 192. Okay, so those are just like a, a difference in numbers here based on how much you're able to, how much disposable income you have that you're able to put into something, right? Just like differences in, in terms of the numbers. Cause like, I, I, I like doing the math on these things or, or working this out so that you have some idea in terms of what you actually need to do based on what you want to be able to do like further on down the line or even, you know, over the course of time that you're building that. So. If we have that, we can also look at the income that would be needed to generate that, right? So if we look at, um, I mean, basically you have to start with your cost of living, right? So it depends on where you live. It depends on what you're, what you spend. So it's like, so it's figuring that out, but it's, it's not only figuring out what it is right now, but also what you want it to be, because I don't think we, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it at that for now. So like, let's say let's say that it costs you 4k per month to live so that's 48k per year okay so <clears throat> if we want to if we start with with the 500 bucks a month and we want to be able to put aside 6000 per year if we add 6 onto the 48 it takes us to 54 right now we also have to consider like taxes so like let's say taxes takes out i don't know like let's say at this income level like let's say 25 percent just to be on the safe side it might be more than that it depends again it depends on where you live but so let's say that you earn let's say that you gross like 75 okay uh times 0.75 to consider for taxes so that means that you let's say you take in 56 point 
basically you're taking 56 K. So that's right about what we, what you need there. So in order to set aside just 500 bucks, if you, if it takes you about 4 K per month, per month to live 48 K per year to live, you'd have to start at like 75 K or so. Now, again, those numbers are adjustable based on where you live, but we're going to go, we'll go based off that. We'll, we'll go based off of this 4K per month to live number, right? It depends on if you're single, if you have a family, et cetera, all that different stuff. Um, but this is just like an example of how you could work your math out. And also the taxes could be more specific. Um, you, you probably also need to consider if you want to put aside money for anything else, like if you, if you have insurance, if you have, I mean, that goes into the cost of living. Like you, you would need to work in, work everything of that into the cost of living. Like that could include, um, if you want to set aside money for like kids or if you want to, whatever it is, I would work that all into here, maybe make separate columns and stuff. But so we go, we, we figured that out. Like if those numbers hold true, you'd have to make roughly that to be able to put aside that. Um, so if we come down to the 1500, let's say that we want to be able to put aside 18 K a year. Um, So we take that same uh, 48K per year, which it takes to live, right? This is what it takes to live. If we if we consider that it's 4K per month. Um, and then we would need to go to set aside the 18K per year. We add that onto that, so that's 66. And then if we need to consider like, uh, you're gonna be in a little bit higher income bracket, so let's say, I don't know, let's, let's say like 30%, let's say that we go, I mean, yeah, if, if you make a hundred grand and you go, let's say 30% taxes leaves you, with, whoops, it's going to leave you with 70K, right? If, if that's what you end up doing in taxes, no, nope, come on, 70K. So then if you made a, if you made the, if you made the 100 grand and you're living on 4K per month, that would allow you to set aside roughly uh, the 1500 bucks a month or the 18K per year, a little bit more, maybe like 22K. Um, again, depends on taxes, depends on everything else, but just to provide some type of idea of what it'd actually take to do that, right? Averaging that over the course of the, of the 40 years. If you wanted to go here um, to be able to set aside 120K per year, I don't know if you're going to be able to do the 4K per month if you're setting aside 120K per year. Uh, but let's say that you stayed extremely disciplined and you did that. But it's not always about discipline either. Like it, it's also sometimes it, it takes a little bit more if, if you're in this higher bracket. But so let's say, I mean, this isn't really even that high of a bracket, but that's what this is what we're going through right now. So um, we got the 48K per year that it takes to live. And then we add on, if we want, if we want to set aside 120K, then we go 168K uh, that we would need to make. So then we figure out, let's say that you make, um, let's say you make 250, whoops, 250K, and we go, we might as well say like 50% for taxes, right? So 125. So that's probably not going to be enough. It's definitely not going to be enough. So let's say that we go 350 and we go, yeah. So you have to make around, around 350 K per year to be able to do that. If, if you don't have, if you're able to live on, on 4k per month at that income level. So, it, I mean, it depends, but really that's, I mean, I actually thought the number was going to be higher to be able to do that. And we also had, I don't know if you'd actually, if like, there are obviously things that you can do to figure out to not pay a legit 50% in taxes. So, you know, that number, if you, if you're at that number, you might, you might be able to make, to put aside more, or you might be able to, um, it might not need to be that high, but that's like general process of, of how we can go about doing math to figure out like if you want to set if you want to figure out like okay i want to be able to i mean this is just this is the process that i go through right so if i if i want to be able to 
have X amount in free, free cash flow. So that means like something I don't have to work for, right? So I have, I have the, what I do, what I do brings in income. And then I have, so that, that money I work for, right? I work for that money. Like I work very hard for that. So instead of taking this and using that to, using that to live, like what I want to do is take as much of that as possible and put it into, uh, put into investment where it works. So where it's essentially this, I take the, the primary job that I have, I make the money that I make. I put that into something where the money that I make now makes, makes money, right? So then this is where I want to be able to get to a point of, or this is what can take you to a point of, of freedom where you don't, you don't have to rely on this initial, like what you do to, to, to generate all the cash or all the, all the income that you have. And it also allows you to stay disciplined because if you take everything that you work for and you throw it into, throw as much as you can into something that is going to allow that money to work, you're always like, you always have zero like in your pocket, right? Because every time you get some, like every time something comes in, we just get rid of it and put it into this investment. And we want this investment to provide income. Okay. Like to, to provide income that you don't have to work for. And so when we go back to the numbers here, and well, I guess to just say something on that, like you're always going to have to do your homework. You're always going to have to work. Like if you put it in something and the investment goes bad, then obviously you're going to lose all that. So you're going to have to, this is never going to be totally passive, right? You're, you're going to have to do your homework and do your work there. Um, but it's, it's that principle of the money that you have that you work very hard for putting that into something that with the money then works for you. You don't have to be there all the time. You don't have to watch it all the time. You don't have to, it's not trading the time for the money anymore. It's, it's the fact that you did your homework, you know that the investment is good for a very long term period of time. And then that can allow, <clears throat> can allow you to get that like passive flow there. So if we go back to here, like if we go to that 6% number, um, uh, like the 6% numbers that we, that we were talking about, where if you had the, if you had the 720 at 6%, that gives you 43.2 K per year. So then it, it's looking at like, okay, if let's say I have an investment that does 6%, then we can start do, doing the math or, or putting, figuring out the numbers, like figure out numbers on what allows, like what brings in the income that you want to bring in from the 6%. And then that starts to give you a number of like, okay, how much income do I need to generate up here and what I actually do and, and how much do I want to throw into that? that investment, right? Based on what I want to get out of this, like this point that I want to get to here. Um, just like that whole kind of circle or cycle of process. And, and what I, what I understand is like, uh, you, you need to, you're, you're going to need more income than you think you need. If you want to get to a point where you actually have some of that freedom, like, like where you, the, the money that you have coming in doesn't require you to be there all the time to bring that in. You're going to have to generate way more than you think in this top level to shove into that second level because this is going to take a longer period of time. Start throwing off the cash flow like it'll be small at the start and then it's going to grow over time. But it's like it's taking that discipline of putting as much as you can into that to where this like that that flow that you don't have to work hard for that starts to actually become substantial. And it like what's the number that's substantial for you is that like you, you, you want 1K per month. So like 12K a year that you don't have to work for, right? Or do you want 120K per year that you don't have to work for? Or do you want a million that you don't have to work for? Right, it just, it starts to allow you to understand like, if I want whatever I want here to be real, like if I want that to be real, like what are the actual numbers that I'm gonna need to generate for that?